we what's going on youtube is donnie b all day so here's the deal uh i got a knife loaned to me by young shredder who is still out there man still out there waiting for a comeback um but this came from the shredder this is one that they really enjoy and uh they wanted to see my take and what i thought of it this is the k-bar warthog and my thought is do i review it as a knife or do I review it as something else? Because the big question is, what is it? And we're going to find that out today. Now, the sheath has got this dangler. It's not a bad sheath. I'm, I, I, even though I don't like this style of sheath, I'm not going to call it a bad sheath because it's really not. Um, with this clamped in, um, everything holds, holds true. If this is undone and you're just using this strap, then this thing's going to be all over the place on you. So you really need to keep this strap going on it. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm really not a big fan of the sheath. It just is what it is. But let's talk about this. Ta-da. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Is it a knife? Is it a hatchet? Is it a shovel? Is it just all of them? I can tell you from a, from a balance standpoint, it's more of like a camp hatchet, like a small hatchet, uh, or compact hatchet, or... A shovel it, it works really good as a trenching tool the balance is not made so much to be a knife's balance but even for something that's an axe shovel the balance isn't terrible not only that as much as I don't like this rubber style grip I'm not gonna lie this is a comfortable grip it really is this one is more uh, well contoured than some of the others they have um, and I have to say that it, looking at it, I don't like it at all. I mean, I think this thing is butt ugly. Just no way, no how would I have ever bought it. But in hand, I have to say that I can see the potential for this being a really, really good camp piece. Um, for trenching, you need a nice wide blade. That's why I hate when people put clip points on, um, on like, combat knives not just fighting knives a fighting knife okay you clip points fine but um like a straight up we we think this should be an issued combat knife no it shouldn't be a, a clip point unless it's like a uh, like a breaching tool like the uh even though it's a modified clip it's a tiny clip um the gerber lmf infantry 2 is made to rip through a fuselage of a plane so it has that real small clip, kind of like this. Like this is a clip point, right? But it's modified. You see it starts here, goes to there. Um, it's not a clipper. Like the, the, um, the K-Bar Utility has got a small clip, so it's okay, but it's still a little too pointy to be a really good all-around combat knife when you're talking about a trenching tool and things uh, that you might use for EOD. Um, this one has got a really nice shape for that. This is really good trenching. This will hack away stuff. And I have no doubt that this can get through a fuselage. I have no doubt that this rubber handle can keep you from electrocutions, like the handle on the, um, on the Gerbers. <sighs> Give it a better sheath. I'll tell you what, this thing could end up being a, a carry blade overseas. You could literally go into a combat zone and carry this now the only thing you'd gripe about would be the weight but once it's on the belt you don't really feel it anyway especially you're carrying all that gear it's not going to matter so this thing i have to say rather than the your standard k-bar i would rather take this even though i hate it by looking at it um i would rather take this into an actual combat situation than the k-bar utility the regular you know the usmc knife um, I hate saying it. I really do. But this thing is a well-rounded, all-around kind of a beast. Let's um, let's take it outside and, and just hit some stuff with it. And I'll show you one other thing that it's really good for. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. <laughs> all right. First try. That's not so bad. Man, that's in there good. So this knife, even though it's not going to be in the description on the product page, this knife is an exceptional, exceptional thrower. Um, I mean, these throws are perfect. Uh, 
And that's something I didn't expect when this knife was first sent to me. I think I did a short on it. And I came out and just gave it a throw. And boom, and I'm like, holy crap. This thing throws better than some throwing knives I have. It is an exceptional freaking thrower. So if anything, if you're looking for a sweet target knife, I'll tell you what, like Steve Borg would have a blast with this thing. Um, if you're looking for a sweet target knife, this thing right here throws like a maniac. Um, it's really, really cool. So uh, it's just something that when I first held on to the knife, it's something I wasn't prepared for. You know, I, I threw it because I'm like, it kind of feels like it could throw. And I was like, oh, I'll just try it. Whew. It was perfect. Um, as much as like, there's sometimes like, I don't want to admit something because I look at it and it's just totally not for me by the look, but then I use it and I think, well, that just won me over. This is a very good offering from K-Bar. A very good offering. It hits like a hatchet. It throws like a knife. Uh, and it's got the width of a trenching tool. It just, it's so well-rounded and multi-purposeful. The knife actually really, really surprised me. I absolutely did not want to like this knife. But it doesn't matter what I want. <laughs> the knife is going to do what it wants. And, and what it did was impress me. So now, let's say you're in combat and you come across something across the road that looks like somebody put something there that you don't want to get involved with uh, or you don't want to come across and you need to dig it out. So I'm talking... Uh, when we come across something like a, an IED in the road or, or something that looks like it might just go boom, we have to figure it out. Now, you can use your knife's edge, but that dulls it. This thing being the clip, the clip point that it is, where it's a modified clip and it's really high, is perfect for using the reverse of the blade for something like this. So now with a detonation cord, you wanna be very, very careful. I can go flat on that spine and pull away debris and not move the cord that's under the dirt. So I can find it and that way I know where the danger is. So this thing is really, really capable for that, for trenching, for digging toilets or, or getting under a um, getting under a, a possible mine um, this thing is going to be really good for that because of its overall width and size and shape um, and it's kind of like a modified leaf shape uh, which I don't mind um, it just on the page it looks better in person than it does on, on film I'm not going to lie to you on, on the picture um, I have to say that this thing is a really super impressive, I was gonna say little knife, it's not little, um, knife. Now I believe, and I could be wrong, I think this is an older one, it might be 1095. Um, and I think now they make them in SK5. I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna lie to you guys, but I think that's what it is. Um, all I know is, well, not all I know, I know a few things, like I can spell cat. Um, K-A-T. So, all I know is the knife is, is pretty capable. Now, this is a used edge. I know the Shredder um, loves this knife. They use this knife. So, I'm pretty sure it, it, they want it back. So, I got to get it back to them. But for such a big knife, like as far as the width and all that, um, the side grip, while you think it would be more comfortable because of its size, this does create a little um, incomfort. You know, it's not that comfortable. But you have a ton of real estate to make up for that, um, where you can just grab it in pretty much any position you want to do all your tight work. Um, the knife is the knife is a straight up beast. It really is. So my question going into this was, what is it? Is it a knife? Is it a shovel? Is it an axe or a hatchet? 
It's literally all of it. It's literally all of it. It's a pry bar. It's a blade. It's, it's a thrower. You could use it to hunt small game if you have good aim. Um, but it, 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 that's exactly how good it is. The knife surprised me so much. I really thought when they sent it, I was going to be like, I'm going to take this outside. I'm not going to dig it. I'm not, I'm, you know, and, and my thing is very pain, uh, very, uh, painful, painfully honest knife reviews it is one of those things that I pride myself on to where I don't want to lie to people and, and give false expectations. And that's why I've come down on different things like some of the handles and, and different things on some of the knives where it might sound like I'm being critical. It might sound like I'm just being a hater, but it's not, I'm just being honest And anything I say, you can prove. Right? Anything I say, hold one for yourself and see if exactly what I said isn't exactly what it is. It's just honesty, like points of balance and weight differentials in certain knives, like the Big Brother. Amazing point of balance for a fighting knife where the, the K-Bar, the USMC, the utility knife, I think is one of the best hunting knives ever made. Is it a great fighting knife as far as the balance? No. Is it a great fighting knife because it's sharp and pointy? Anything sharp. Cavemen killed saber tooth cats with pointy sticks truth so any knife is going to be good fighting knife if it's the knife you have on you right because the best knife you have is whatever's on you um but um but i'm very honest and it might make me sound a certain way um but truth is truth and truth is i don't have anything negative to say about this knife nothing like when i when i go into a knife review my very first thought is what would I change? What would I do different if I designed this knife? I wouldn't have designed this knife. I wouldn't have. This wouldn't have been something that I came up with in my head. But I'm glad somebody else did because they did a really good job on it. Whether I wanted to admit it from just seeing it or not, they did a good job. Where they help themselves in the balance is they begin their swedge all the way back here. It takes away a whole bunch of material that would have really screwed this knife up if they left it in there. It would have really screwed the balance up. But somehow they make it work. I am more impressed with this thing as a thrower than I thought I would be. It is a not a good throwing knife. This is a great throwing knife. They could literally put this in the class of throwing knives and people would be like, okay. It, I mean, it just works that way. Um, as a matter of fact, I was at Blade Show and I walked up to the, some of the guys at K-Bar. They were in the booth. I think it was uh, day three. We were getting ready to leave. Um, and I, and I told one of the guys, I said, you know, you guys, I said, one of the stupidest things you guys make is one of my favorite. And I was talking about the chopsticks and, uh, I told him, I love them stupid chopsticks. I mean, it's such a dumb thing. It's just a chopstick, but I have a video where I'm throwing the chopsticks and they're sticking boop, 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 and they just work. So you never know what somebody's going to come up with that you'd think that is totally not going to fly. And then it absolutely flies. This thing soars like an eagle. No lie. All right, so I got to clean this up, send it back to the shredder where I thought I wouldn't have been happy having to do it. I have to say, I'm really happy that I got to do this knife. So to Zeke um, and Papa John, thank you for sending this um, so I could play with it because I have to say, man, of almost all of the K-Bar knives I've tested, what would I carry if I went back to Afghanistan tomorrow and they said, okay, you have to bring one with you? I might choose this. This is probably the most well-rounded knife I've ever used from them. And one of the most well-rounded knives. It's a badass. It's a straight up badass. This is the way I, I designed the D-Bad Campmaster was to be well-rounded and do everything. This is well-rounded, does everything. I have no complaints, none at all. Comfort, usability, multifunction, throws like a dream. All right, so that's it for this one. Crazy, right? I am Donnie B all day. Till next knife.